I'm creating six LEGO animations for Minecraft's most popular YouTubers, starting with Headless Noob. Hey, JB Films, I challenge you to animate garbaging in Minecraft. Okay, cool, but how in the world am I going to do this? Well, for starters, I found some reference footage online to figure out how many frames each block placement would be. The footage I found is at 60 frames per second. The animation will be at 15 frames per second. In 60 frames per second, it's an average of 11 frames for each block placement, which is about 18% of that second. 18% of 15 would be about 3 frames for each block placement. To make sure my math was right, I made a little test animation, which I think turned out pretty good. Now for the next issue. How would I make it float? Two words. Green. Screen. After plastering the area with a little bit of green screen, I quickly completed the curious concoction of an animation. Now all that's left to do is a little bit of editing. I filled in the green screen with the Minecraft background, exported it, and then called up Bedless. Alright, I shall show you the video which I have made for you. Let's see it, let's see it. Oh my god, yo! That's pretty cool! That's Here actually go. pretty accurate, not gonna lie. But you know, like, the, the only thing is that you're supposed to jump every, like, eight blocks. But, I, I mean, it, it's okay. Nobody's gonna know. No one's gonna realize. Uh, anyways, on to our next challenge! Hi, it's Blockfax. I want to see a player step through a nether portal. Good luck. So first, we need to build a quick LEGO nether portal. Once that's finished, I need to decide whether I want the player to light the portal or for it to already be lit. I think it would be more mysterious if the portal was already lit when the player found it. I then built up a quick set and did my best to make the area look as lush as possible. When animating, it's always good to have some background movement. So I animated a pig. When the player steps into the nether portal, I want to make the nether instantly appear because I think it would look cool to have a jump cut effect. So I built up the nether. Now all that's left to do is to add some sound effects and do a little bit of color correction. Now that the animation is finished, we can present it to Blockfax. You requested me to animate uh, the moment when a player steps into the portal. This is what I have come up with. This is really good. <laughs> this is really good. There we have it. That was really good. That is really nice. Two down, four to go. Let's see who's next. What is up, JB Films? I want you to animate something really difficult. I want you to animate a Bed Wars game with a creeper exploding the island and the bed and the Steve getting thrown off the island. It's gonna look really cool. Don't disappoint me. Don't. Now that Guinea has made a verbal threat against me, for legal reasons, this is a joke. I quickly scavenged the darkest corners of Google to find a reference photo of the island I wanted to build. Once I had found it, I began construction. Of course, I didn't take the fact that I would be using green screen into consideration, so at first there was a bunch of greenery which I had to remove from the original build. Next, I slapped down some green screen and started animating. The platform did end up moving quite a bit, which I'm not very happy about, but it is what it is. I've gotten to the scene where the island blows up, but I need a way to animate that. So I went and snatched some of my dad's magnetic helping hands to put on my desk. I also got this random magnet, which I taped to the desk. After animating the explosion, I brought it into the editing software and began the tedious process of masking. Just kidding, it only took like an hour to do all the VFX stuff. And it turns out that I was able to get away with using a green creeper and green screen at the same time pretty well. Now, let's call up Guinea and see what he thinks. <laughs> What's up? Hello, JB! So you requested Minecraft Bed Wars in LEGO with a creeper. Uh -huh. up. If I rate it high of an 8 out of 10, then people have to subscribe. Steve joined the game. Oh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Whoa! Someone give this guy a medal. You know what? Let's 10 out of 10. Go. You just get a 10 out of 10. With those three done, we're now getting into the more difficult animations. Let's see what our next challenge is. I'm Nuba, and just for you, JB, I want you to animate a hundred thousand arrows being shot. A hundred thousand arrows, eh? Well, I could create a Lego arrow on mechabricks.com, import it into Blender, create a particle system, rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis, set the particle number to 100,000, add some turbulent force to make the particles go in a certain direction, link the particle system to the arrow so the particles would become arrows, make the background transparent, and then add it to the finished animation in post. But that's 3D, we're doing this all in stop motion. So I quickly built up a Lego arrow and animated it. I also animated Steve being shot by the arrow. To make several arrows, I would just use a white screen to emulate the arrow tips. And there we go, 100,000 arrow tips. 
What I actually did was mask out a singular arrow so I could duplicate Two it. Two down, 99,998 to go. Also, this is my second time doing this. The first time I tried doing this, it crashed my computer. And after waiting five minutes for a three second clip to render zero frames per second, I called up Nuba. You requested me to animate 100,000 arrows being shot at. Let's see it. That was almost a joke, man. I can't believe you actually did this. Dude walking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just two frames of a billion arrows. Love it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Love it. I challenge you to telebridge in stop motion Lego. Good luck. Mont, I hate you. Telebridging is the most difficult bridging method in all of Minecraft. So to figure out how I was going to animate it, I once again took to the internet to acquire some reference footage. After analyzing telebridging frame by frame, I came to the conclusion that each block placement should be about two frames each. So I once again grabbed a helping hand, plastered the area in green screen, and began animating. Unlike with Bedless, this time I made sure to animate the jumps. Once the animation process was complete, it was time to remove the background. Green screen unfortunately didn't really end up working that well, so I had to mask everything out by itself. This process ended up taking an entire hour to complete. Now, let's call up Mont and see if my suffering was worth it. All right, so you requested me to animate telebridging in Lego Minecraft. This is what I've come up with. I am so excited. Okay. Yo, that's actually sick, bro. You know, the only issue is that is that the character falls at the end, and I never fall. Well, Steve isn't you, Steve. Okay, okay, okay. He's still learning, he's still learning. Yeah, no, yeah, bro, yeah. that's so sick, actually, dude. And the hardest challenge comes in from RecRap, who said, Tell him to animate an epic boat clutch. Wait, isn't that how Rec went viral? To get things started, I quickly built up a boat and made a quick test animation of a run cycle I'd never tried, which looks pretty good. I then built up a walkway which would be masked out in post as two hunters chase Steve. I had to take three separate shots of him falling because my green screen wasn't large enough to take a single shot. Next, I needed to get an angle of Steve's legs and face to make it look like he was falling. It took me a while of fighting with the helping hand to actually get the angle I wanted, but eventually it worked. Animating the boat clutch itself was actually rather simple in contrast to everything else. Now it's time to edit. I brought it into my editing software cut out all of the green screen, and added splats in them. For the falling shot, I went into Blender, duplicated a 3D plane set I downloaded it, and animated the camera falling. I then drug it into post and added some clouds passing Steve to make it look more realistic. And with that, I present to you the Rec Rep animation. If you somehow made it to the end of this video, I want to say a massive thank you. If you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. Special thanks to Kix and Kadesa for helping me get into contact with people. I also want to give thanks to Jesus, because he's the reason I'm able to do all this. If you want to know more about who Jesus is and what he did for you, I created a channel in my Discord server just for this. I hope to see you there.